The opportunities I've had from uh, Cafe AI is to look at uh, patients with a very significant clinical problem. We have a lot of patients uh, with uh, slightly uh, different heart valves uh, which uh, need to be looked at very closely over the years because sometimes you need to change those heart valves because they don't work very well. Also a small proportion of those patients get uh, a ballooning of the beginning of the aorta which is the main blood vessel coming out of the heart. The aim of this project uh, through CAPAI uh, is to see if we can predict which of those patients are going to have that ballooning of the aorta uh, and thereby we could in time prevent having to do two separate operations, one to replace the heart valve and another one in the future which is a much harder, more difficult operation because of scarring in the chest to replace that part of the ballooning aorta. When considering the next steps for this project the possibilities are endless, it's limitless. Uh, for example, why would we not put the same work into the rest of the aorta and other uh, arteries where you get aneurysms forming? So we can uh, look at predicting who's going to get an aneurysm in other parts of the body and when to intervene with them. Um, what about aneurysms that have already been treated with stents, for example? What's the behaviour of those blood vessels around the stents in time? Uh, from this project, we could find out so much about the, the natural history of aneurysm. The European Regional Development Fund and VARTS Charities have very generously uh, funded this extremely exciting project, which has so many opportunities to make a very positive impact on the lives of so many patients. Uh, aneurysm disease is so common and if we can treat patients at lower risk than we currently are doing, this will be a phenomenal uh, legacy for this project.